I was once asked by a social media outlet to write a story that talked about the, my struggle with depression. After some thinking, I decided to write for them because even though a lot of the material already on their website was pretty romantic and overdramatic, I thought I could add something that had a degree of truth. So I submitted my work and I heard back a few days later and I learned that I had been denied because my story was too real. I was astonished. How is my illness too real for you? Do you know what's real? I'll explain. Depression is not sadness. Depression is not crying yourself to sleep. Depression is not exciting. In fact, I would even venture to say that depression is the inability to feel excitement at all. But I am not empty. But I'm not empty. I feel. I feel sadness and happiness and anger, just as you do. You cut me, I bleed, but the blood runs pink. Depression is not drowning. I am the water. I am a solute that cannot become saturated. Depression is a parasite that sucks out your sleep, and it takes all the strength from your muscles. Depression is Novocaine, and I am heavy and numb. Depression is not tragic. And it is most certainly not an emotion. Depression looks like the grease in my hair. And depression smells like the mold in my sink. And depression sounds like the ringing in my ears. And depression tastes like I haven't brushed my teeth in a week, but it doesn't feel like anything. I might be tired or detached and maybe even a little bit miserable sometimes, but that does not mean I will stand here and watch as this idealized version of my illness is spread around and I am called invalid. I might have depression, but depression does not have me.